I can't begin to express how happy I am this game finally is on Switch! I used to play this on GameCube all the time. I'm gonna apologize in advance. You might hear some funny voices. <laughs> From the beninging, let's do it. Aha! Today! I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far off land, a big bustling th town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that it was, there was, the, the town was very prosperous. prosperous, prosperous. <laughs> But one day, tragedy befell upon this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into to the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer had re held relics of its past, people gathered at this spot and built a new town. But word soon spread amongst the people who lived uh, who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is a tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in this what? The tale of the quest of the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Ah. Oh, ho, 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 let's do it. <laughs> Finally, I have a minute without Toddsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. <laughs> but now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct... Oh, Bishy, Bishy. Want you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, it's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds the map that shows where to find the treasure. But the box has a magical lock on it uh, that will only open for a pure or noble heart. As you can see, you won't so much as budge if one as such as me touches it. Oh! If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try to open it. Oh, oh no! Mail call. <laughs> hey, bro, catch <laughs> check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived from for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that? How's that sound? Aha! Uh -huh. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into the possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in the town called Rogueport. But since it wouldn't 
Uh, it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this ladder, so please bring it with me when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. Peach. Mario, what do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Ooh. Yahoo! Pepe Mario, the thousand year door. Let's go. It's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> Rogues, welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport, sir. Ooh. Very roguey. You see, we arrived. Sh we are will arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark, sir. <laughs> I apologize. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed by a bit of rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all of the sordid tales about Rogue Port on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess wa waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be caref careful, sir. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. Choo -choo. Perfect. Hello? Oi! Welcome to Rogueborn! Bit of a nasty place! Hey, you got guts coming here! You look a little bit green! So I have a wee bit of advice on me! Hit that save block to save! Cause that thing's... Cause the... The thing about life is... You never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket! Ugh, that would be good to have in real life, right? Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far! If you get a game over, or if you start playing again from a t from the title screen, you can continue from the last point you saved. Anytime you find a block like this on the other adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Saving! Saved! <laughs> what do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want it's this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or she your girlfriend? Shut up. What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm going to do it. I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell me what you know. Right. Now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right of... Uh, be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Ba 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 <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As a command, Lord Crumb, we're on it. No, no! Stop right there, you weird as I'll scream, really. I'm busy. Don't talk with me. Blimey, a fight! Corkin! Ain't nothing as fun as watching a few blokes duke it, duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? No. Yikes! Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problem in the sign even if I had an extra life. You're, you are green, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> L 
Like I go anywhere with a smelly loser like you? Hmm, not likely. Huh? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw with my plans? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old Grub Babu. Ooh. First fight. Let's do it. Can't flee this fight. Okay. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat the freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Jump. Jump. Ah, boom. Oh. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't give up. Big hacking jump. No, come on. I don't think I have a good view of my switch. Oh, hurt. There we go. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh, come on. I need to lift my switch up a bit, I think. Bonk. Bonk. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did it, you did it, yes. You got the star points. That's what all these little things are, star points. Oh, we got nine. The star points will hit you. Sh well, uh, it will show up here. When you get 100 points, you get up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah. We did it. Ba, 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 ha, ha. Okay, you got a couple of these enchanted. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Oh. Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of balls. Let's just sneak out of here, would you say? Okay, let's go. Screw those guys. Uh -huh. Stop! <laughs> he looks like Dr. Robotnik. Where'd they go, huh? You? Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> uh, crud. They bolted. We sure did. Well, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I just got to give you the, a little reward. Yeah, I don't know where you've been. My name's Goombella. I'm a uni at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh yes. oh, yes. Mario, wait, you mean like, what, that famous guy? Wow, can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Oof. Mm -hmm. The bus said uh, greetings. How's that taste? Road taste. Are you okay? That hurts. Those jerks. You won't forget this. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but jeez. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for the legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko, what you got there? Oh my gosh, is, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Get to the boogie, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence, bumping into another one. Uh, odd, another in this sort of place, huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Huh? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you to meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stop in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for a ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes over for a moment, but as I did, 
She vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Mr. Mario. Master Mario. Surely you'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll resign in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find that your 8P heart points running low. Just drop on in. Oh, oh. yes. Anyway, a little rest and there, there will uh, fill up all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Hmm. I say. Hmm. I say. Ah, Princess Peach, did he mean like Princess the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess always gets snapped by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue. Wait a sec, that's wild, princess. Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could he or she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here, uh, is here researching the treasure. We'll show him your map. It's my map. Leave it alone, Goombella. If we start looking for the treasure, maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. Well, good. Then let's go, Mario. Kumbella joined your party. Oh, my. Kumbella's ability, a primer. When you approach people or objects, you, you, you may see an icon appear over Kumbella's head. If this happens, you can press X to learn about that person or object. Press X to learn about the person. Okay. That's Goomba's the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Okay. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, or and objects. Press X to learn about a location. Okay. This is Rockport Square. It's the center of the town in the main business district. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Okay. Sometimes you learn something interest some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Gumbella's abilities now? Ah, I've mastered them! Okay. Of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battles too. Oh my god. Okay. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemies at HP <laughs> and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Wink wink. First off, we gotta go find my professor. The thing is, since I got, uh, since I just got to tell myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Franklin. He looks like this. You're very descriptive in your wording. Oh, well, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, just press the sl. Okay. That'll be my cue to share some information. I know, which might be helpful to figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Cool. That's Goomber the Goomber's so always comforting about being ripped off. He must be easy to con, which isn't to say we shouldn't con him, of course. You sure? You can. I'm looking for this guy who def who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. Of course. Oh. Freeze! You too! Not an odd step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk bumped into me and, and made my lose made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Squish. <laughs> I I I jump! Idiot, you stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Why? Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. What's your prescription? Can I... 
I'll rob your place now, just so you know. Freaking little old lady. You freaking pancakes will taste of dirt now. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what you get. And make sand in your flower. Okay, let's go. That guy is Moose Emilian. He sniffs out possessions uh, that might make him <laughs> make his loot. Okay. Uh, with his nose for opportunity, he could really do well with the straight and be some. Do really well in straight and wizard world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. Now we can talk. <laughs> Sniff, sniff. You smell that? The smell of a profitable situation. Yes, indeed. Looks like my star is finally shy starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. If you'd just been a little nicer, you know? Okay, save that. Save that shit. Look at that. How do I... No? Hello? <laughs> Professor Frankly? Actually, I think the guy... There's a guy by that name that lives over at the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang on tight. Hang on to the boat. So, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? I sometimes click way too fast. I, I don't read. I'm like, this is probably the correct thing. My brain will solve it later. Ooh. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I can't bump him to you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable, some people are so rude. Yeah, but also he stole stuff. Let's uh, let's get it back. I want I want my coins. He took like half of my Hmm. Hello? This is this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about a three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Rogueport. Now that I told you, uh, uh, now that I told you I'm lying low uh, in this thief den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Hehehe. <laughs> I'm so sly. Oh. Can I flip it somehow? No. Is that a little cockroach? Oh! <laughs> cool. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blew out... Oh, threw a hundred coins at the parlor, you believe that? <laughs> but now next time, man, I'm coming back a winner. The odds have been my favor now. <sighs> really... Dude. There you are. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. <laughs> what a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you back your coins. Here. Thank. Me. <laughs> you got any funny stuff in here? No? Okay. Now I'm feeling satisfied with that. Then we can keep on moving. We can keep on going. Actually. This is a, a GameCube um, thing. You have to save all the time. You never know when the system's gonna crash. You know? Hey, you big old rude. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful. Live longer. Why are you talking to me? I might attack. Oh, look. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Franklin. Was it? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Uh, no, you. Uh, wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Gumbriella. Uh, it's not Essigum. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I got it. You're good, Bella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Oh well, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Gumbella Junior at the U Goom Goom Goombas. Of 
course, I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though. You stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario Professor is Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, uh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two here all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary trash you said to be below rogue boat. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it would be you, Professor Franklin. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to, have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe that the legendary treasure truly does exist and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinite vast of treasure, ho uh, in an infin infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's, impo it's impossible to divide, divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of your, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure and it, it kind of matches the old saying, hold the magical map aloft before the entrance of the thousand year door and the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that reference the same as crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck. It seems the thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town. In luck, we, we literally went to this town for that very reason. It's not luck. We, we, whatever. Yeah, the critical piece of puzzle. The magical map is lost. If only we had that map. How did that map survive? Anyway. But we do have a professor. Oh, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I... Just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind. Oh, I thought he ate it. Astonishing, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up, to the front, uh, up in the front of the thousand year door. Right on, professor. Good golly, what are you doing? S uh, just sitting here then. Gumbella, Mario, let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go. This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. I just need to move the switch to a better position. I don't think all of the buttons are registering. Hold on. Okay, let's see if that works better. Oh. <laughs> a little more comfortable, let's go. Wait, check what? The garbage pail is empty. Gonna dirty down this book. Yeah, that's right. No? <laughs> no? Okay. Oof, okay. I don't know why th what why why that happened, but <laughs> I bet you didn't know this rotten thing came off, did you? <laughs> oh. It was rotten, alright. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Okay. First Oh wait. <laughs> Hang on a second, Mario, just something uh, just occurred to me. 
I'm fairly certain there's quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you like to practice action command before we descend? Actually, I already know these, so... Nope. Nope, I'm good. Nope, nope. Really? A master, are, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be like, no. <laughs> A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. Okay. When guarding, press A in time with your opponent's attack. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right. Now, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A to enter it. First... Oh, the roaches must die. Because they give coins. Ah, uh, sorry if I offended anyone with my roach joke. All right, my favorite thing in the world. Safe. This will definitely be something, huh? Hold up. Ho ho ho, sneaky character. Oh. Okay. Ah, welcome, Mario. I am Merlovely, Merlovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing ability, that you, but which you seek, is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light in <laughs> light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? No. I'm good. Ah, is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just ask. No, you're expensive. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> wish I could break more stuff. Okay, so not this way. That's fine. We have other options. We have other options. Hey! Hey, man! What's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical. Your surfer level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, come over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. You can't. Two academics and a world famous here wander the sewers of a port, in, a port town in peace. If this is your usual greeting to visitors, and you must have learned it from somewhere here because it stinks. Ouch. That was cold. What? Are you too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a para Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See the spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you'll be the one to take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get them. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order of the two. Okay, I right, cool, cool. You can attack first if you feel like it, Gumbella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But uh, good luck. Oh, yeah. Do the head bomb. Everybody do that. Late, really? Can I choose nothing? No. Come on. I'm sitting with a clear... Hmm. Oh, the input's slow. Hmm, I see the... That's not good. It's really slow, the... Um, uh, input to the Elgato. No. Hmm. 
That's not good. Hmm. I wonder if I have to change that somehow. Oh, wee! Hmm. Ah, Lady Losers, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Yeah, I can see. It. It's really slow. Um, hmm. That's not good. That's really not good. No? Yeah, I can feel it now that I started thinking about it. No good. No good. Oh. Yeah. That is gonna be a problem. That's a big delay. Especially in this game where there's like a timely timely position to things. That's not good. I wonder if I can hmm. Yeah, I have to do it early. Yeah. Do 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 do. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Hmm. Good, good, good. Do, 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 do. I feel uh, well. This game is old, obviously, but the other Paper Mario's got way more tactics to the battles. To the battles. Oh! You got an item. You can use it. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I uh, just clicked through that so fast. That's fine. All right. Do, 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 do. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Thank you. Partner hints. A thousand year door must be nearby. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. We'll do something with that later. Oh. oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry if I scared you. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> do 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 do. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the legend, the hero of the legend! The all, only the great hero of the legend can hear my voice! Yeah, everyone else! Nothing! See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me inside this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, uh, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this chest. I think it may be the best... It uh, may be best not to mention that we are looking for the crystal stars. Well, Drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? 
Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you? No. Uh, so you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, uh... First, you should look for the key to this chest and use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure if this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Let's do it. We love chaos. Well, I know my vote goes to you uh, finding the key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Uh, this is what a key looks like, by the way. Come on. Being stuck in a box is uh, no picnic. I am counting on you. Oh, great. Legendary hero. Yes, yes. We trust the box. We trust the box. Oh, quest surprise! We found it. A strange black key. Wow. Ah, don't find me. Check. Whoa, 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 whoa. You brought the key? Yes, oh man, I owe you big. Yes! Thank. <laughs> Thank nothing. <laughs> Fools. <gasps> Not the purple background. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What? You think I was going to help you? Instead, I'm gonna spend a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry about... Uh, sorry, but those are the breaks. The breaks? I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Booga booga woo, you're cursed! Oh, ow. <laughs> Enjoy the curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, You'll turn into a paper airplane! Oh, ha, ha, trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! <laughs> oh, I can't help but to short all your doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. Uh, so I was supposed to. Uh, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane. Airplane plane like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the tab panel. Now press Y, then BAM! You're a paper airplane. Okay. You'll control your tiny paper airplane self by tilting L forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt L in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting L too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key. Try now and suffer the total aerodynamic humiliation. Alright. Okay. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, then press B to deplane and get back to normal. Okay. So, be honest. Do you fully understand the peril of this curse as that I have bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Okay. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> Oh no, guys. This whole letter dynamic humiliation. So, uh, just wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Well, he helped us, I guess, so. Thanks, curse. <gasps> Let's go. Whee! Whee! Eh. Lovely. Oh. Oh, Mario, Gumbella, look at that. Is that the thousand your door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are, are all true. Come, 
let's move closer. It wasn't exactly difficult to get here. We walked through a door. I, I just want to say anyone with a ladder could have gotten here. All right, let's go. Check. So this is the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. It's even more incredible up close and not dusty at all. <laughs> Now, where can we unfurl the magical map? A proper unfurling calls for a dedicated surface. Indeed it does. <laughs> Whoa. Professor, what's going on? None of them is looking at the map that's just hoovering above their head. Okay. Ah, magic. Oh. <laughs> Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> The location of the cri of a crystal star has been recorded to your magical map. Wow. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use sweet treat. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Professor, the map and what's with all the strange lights? Hmm. This looks like information related to the location of the crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. You don't, they don't allow us to explore the room more? Okay. Hmm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... The map is truly astonishing. Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions. It shows us the location of, the, of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called... Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes. The area is a vast meadow that lies far in the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. I thought I was going to criticize the name. <laughs> okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you just find that, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map, actually? Anyway. From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent it to you, Mario? The Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, yeah. So it is her. The Princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Meadows and my suspicions about Petal... Uh, crystal Stars and the Petal Meadow. Petal Meadow. Uh, it doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadow on her own. You know, Professor, there was a, another suspicious group asking about some the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the pedal meadow, you, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is, is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Did, I don't know what I said there. Crystal stars, right? Collect the crystal stars. In my mind, I just said collect... Collect, collect Peach. <laughs> Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and uh, that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, just come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it all your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Not a kiss, please. Oh. Yeah? That was, okay. 
Oh. Ah, Mario. There's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it's... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out now? Yeah, sure. Excellent. In that case, let's give your special move a little test run. First, take a close look at your star... Star gauge. Oh, okay. You see that the gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So, you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? Yeah, okay, yeah. When you have a, a star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Alright. Yeah. Uh, huh? Oh, come on. Don't exactly control... Um, control it very well. Nice. Since you used your star power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battle is so very important. Yay, the toads! If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what uh, what I mean. Mario, Pamela, try to attack me, please. Oh, yeah. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Star power. Also, the more excited your battles are, the more people will come and watch your fights. As you can see, the, that's reflected on the numbers of members in the audience. Ah, nice. Ooh, still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorize all of this. Ah, that's all I've gotten. Here ends my cyan... Cyan till... Till... Blah, 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 blah. Scintillating lecture. Yes, sure. Um, special moves. Fine work, Mario. Yahoo! Okay, dokie. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's dangerous out there, take this. Powerfully smash a foe! You gotta... Oh yeah, cool. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important to... What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice... Uh, yes, okay. Equipping and removing badges. Press yeah. and open the menu. Okay. Press drrr to get the badge. Equipping the badge requires badge points. BP. This one requires one. BP. Press A. You use one BP to equip the badge. Press A again to remove the badge and your BP will return to normal. That's the whole explanation. Okay. Nice. By the way, you need flower points, FP, to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch uh, uh, not only uh, your HP, but FP too. Did you get all of that? Well, here's hoping you'll find the pipe and petal metal. Petal metal. Oh, hi. Hi there, kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like, to fight with your whole heart? So much tutorials. I can see you're brimming with potential, kid. 
But there's a... There's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting them big. There's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got questions, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master. And I don't stop him. But I could. With fighting. Anywho. I got a great life. Traveling. Training. Uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holla. No. Uh, let me go down. There we are. And we will save. And I think that's gonna be it for this uh, episode. Let me know if you want me to continue this game. I, otherwise, I'll play it off screen. This is an amazing game. I love it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!